the, the phrase must win is a bit of a cliche in football and you hear people talk about must win games in November which is ridiculous but these are now literally must win games aren't they? Yeah they are Jamie they are must win fixtures for us starting on um, on Monday night against uh, Burnley but yeah there's no denying we're at the point of that season and the situation we find ourselves in these games now are are, are games we've, we've got to win and we try everything in our power to, to win them. We understand the situation, we understand where we are. But as always, the main focus has been since the weekend to this week is Monday night. And what Monday night is, is, a, is an opportunity for us to win a game of football and get three points. And it's one we've got to do that as well. So I've said that after the game against Chelsea, um, when people ask me the question and, 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 and what it is, we've got four games ahead of us. We need to, we need to win all four. And uh, that starts on, on Monday night. When we spoke this time last week, it was, it was really rousing what you were saying. You were saying you still have the belief we can definitely get out of this. I see fighting the players. Is your own belief starting to wane a bit now? No, no my, my belief is not waning. At this present moment in time, no, no, definitely not. Because at this moment, there's four games left. And of course, I, I know I do, I do keep saying that. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not deluded in any way. I understand the predicament we're in and I understand how difficult that challenge is. But at this moment, it's still a challenge. It's, it's still there. OK, we may need some other results to go our way. So is it totally in our hands? No, but what is in our hands is the next four games. And can we win four? That's, that's the aim. In, in the real, real short term, which is Monday night, we need to win that game. After Monday, if we don't win that, it's, of course, my, my belief for where I see it is going to be very, very different. Of course it is. And over the course of, of, of the season, um, I always looked at a team that have been competitive. I've looked at a team that have, have been indifferent at times, of course, and inconsistent. And that's why we are where we are. But it's certainly a team that, that, that can win games. And we need to start on Monday night. And that's the main focus for me. I can't, I'm not willing to indulge or look at anything different other than that at this present moment in time. Um, and that may change, of course, in, 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 in the future or certainly in the near future. But at the moment, that's not the case. Scott, are, are there players that are, that are firing the rest of the squad up and saying, you know, we can do this? I mean, who was the captain on the pitch, but he's only 24 years of age. He's, he's on his own. He's not, he's not a, you know, a full open player. Tom's had his injury issues. But which players are, are the ones saying, lads, come on, we can still get ourselves out of this? All right. We have players here that, that show through their actions. We don't have many players here that, that are real leaders. A young squad and a, and a squad that at times are focusing on themselves and navigating their way in the, in the toughest league in, in the world, while also in the situation that they're in and the pressures, what that brings of being where we are in the table. So, um, you know, what I have seen is, and which I've seen all year, is, is a group of players that, that are relentless in, in, in trying to get better and trying to trying to win football matches. And that's not changed this week. I see someone, a, a, a group of players, full focus, committed, trying their hardest, understand that what they're going to need to do on Monday night and what we're going to need to bring to the game to win it. Um, so in that sense, I have that in abundance. Of course, like I said to you, Danny, that is a young squad. And with, with, with young squads, you have a leadership quality um, is something which is probably developed over time and through experiences. Um, and of course, you have natural leaders, um, but we're probably a little bit shy on them at the moment. And just one final one from me, Scott. You mentioned a couple of, of answers ago how it's out of your hands. Now, will you put yourself through it? Will you watch Newcastle this evening? Will you watch Southampton tomorrow evening? Or will you just avoid those games? Um, I don't know. Really, it depends. I, I, I probably won't watch. I'll, I'll have half an eye on it. Um, the roller coaster of the emotions, what this Premier League brings. And, um, so maybe not, but certainly the the my views. You know, you asked me them questions a few months ago. It was an irrelevance for us. It was really an irrelevant. It was my main focus was the team and and us winning games. And that's still the case. Of course, it is. Like you get to four games to go. Of course, there's half an eye on other teams at this moment now, and then we'll see how that pans out. Cheers, Scott. Try to enjoy your enjoy your weekend if you can. Cheers, and thanks, mate. Thanks, Jamie. Anita Jones, Premier League Productions. Afternoon, Scott. Hi, Anita. Um, could we just start with some team news, please? Uh, team news, yeah, we're, um, we're looking okay, to be fair. Practically 
near on a full squad. Harrison Reeves just come in today for the first time with a little bit of, of, of light work. So again, the next couple of days, we'll probably have more of a clear idea because obviously it was more conditioned today's work. Tom Kenny still is with the group and is heading in the right direction. So we'll make a call on that one as well. Um, and everyone else, yeah, everyone else is fine. So we're all good. So do you think there's a possibility we could see Tom Kenny feature in one of these final matches of the season? Hope, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, again, the nature of Tom's injury and the way that road's been, I think on all sides, mine, Tom's, everyone, we're all a little bit nervous. Um, and, and, and wondering what what how, how that's going to pan out in, in in terms of up in the loads and stuff like that. At this moment, he's he's managed that and he's he's been training with us and training with the group. So, um, like I said, we'll have to see how that, that pans out in the next in the next week or so or a few days. You spoke about having a group of players who are determined and want to win football matches. I just wondered what's the morale been like around the whole club in this last week. Morale's been good. It's never been an issue, morale. It's the environment and the culture was set here has always been a very positive one, always been very realistic as well. Um, and the, the environment we set here is that disappointment. Yeah, of course, you're going to have that in football, you have that in life, but it's how we react to them disappointments. So, it's, you know, when, when there's time to reflect and time to be disappointed or it, it, and really be over critical or over analyze is, is a time when when a curtain comes down on something and there's no more left to, to do. So while um, that's still not the case at this present time, there is a game now on Monday night and we need everything in our power and minds free, you know, energy um, to try and win that football match. Um, and, and that's been the main focus really. You've got just about a week to prepare for that game, or you'll, you'll have just about a week to prepare, prepare for that game. I mean, how much of an opportunity is that to kind of reset and focus the players for these final games? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good opportunity for us in that sense. It gives us an opportunity to get some work in. Um, yeah, and get ready for what, what's a massive game for us. So, yeah, you know... The t- timings is always is always key between fixtures. Sometimes you want them coming around a bit quicker than others. Um, but yeah, look, I was really pleased with our last performance. Honestly, was I thought we 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 was um, we played very very well, and I liked us um, missing certain bits, of course. But I, I really liked us, so we need to translate that now again on Monday night. And this week's been a good week for us to to work on that and, and keep passing that really. And finally, for me, it's Burnley on Monday. They have a nine-point cushion above your side, but it's only one win in their last five. What are you expecting from the game? Tough game. Yeah, tough game. Yeah, I mean, Sean's done a, an amazing job um, at Burnley. I think you know what you're up against when you come up against Sean's teams and, 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 and what they bring. So um, a real, a real tough 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 game for us and um, we need to be we need to be fully aware of that really so they've been operating around the Premier League now for some time Um, yeah and that's that's credit to to Sean and the job he's done there so players what have been in around the Premier League for some time as well with big experiences and can navigate and know how to navigate their way around this division so um, yeah it's it's, as always in this in this league it's going to be a tough tough game going to bring some different components to maybe what other games bring but it's one we, we need to stand up to that challenge, really. Thank you. Best of luck on Monday. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Anita. To conclude the broadcast section, uh, we'll have um, Emma Jones, BBC London. Hi, Scott. Um, yeah. You lose on Monday, you're relegated. Burnley win, they survive in the Premier League. It's a hugely significant match. I'm wondering how that's affecting you and your players. Yeah, look, I, I think it's um, it's exactly that. It's a it's a massive match for us, um, and like you said, that's it, it's there in, in in terms of understanding what this game is. For me personally, I prefer it that way. I prefer it when there's 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 a definite to it. And what's definite is you need we need to win, and of course we've wanted that's always been the mantra and that's always been the case. But you get to this point in the season, and I think I remember saying this a few few weeks ago. Emma, these are the moments and these are the times now where it's the most crucial. These are the times when leagues are won, relegations are decided, golden boots, 
this is where the trophies come out or, or the awards come out and this is what's going to be and this is where it is so yeah look the task ahead of us on Monday is one which is the game we need to try and win against a very good opponent and that's what we're going to endeavour to do. What do you think you've learned about yourself as a manager this season that can help you and your team in these last four games? Um, the, 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 in, in terms of the, the ups and downs of what this league brings, in terms of the, the quality and, and the harshness and the reality sometimes of this division, um, but certainly... Uh, a big positive is, is exactly that, how we've reacted during the moments. Um, and this team along this journey this year, I keep saying it because you know, you know, I, I get we may fail this year. You know, I get that we've, um, at this present moment in time, maybe not won as many games or whatever that is. But to be where we are at this moment in time, is the, 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 there's been some real upturns, there's been some real learning, there's been some real improvements. And while, of course, maybe at the end of this road, there might be failure overall, um, there has been some, some real uplifts as well. And um, how we've dealt with them moments and not sank, how players have pulled through them moments and put in performances, how the team have been managed to, to scrap through some real serious adversity at times and, and real moments what would have sunk a lot of teams and probably would have been dead and buried a, a long time ago. Um, it has been has been crucial really and they're all good learning curves and they're all certainly experiences that can only help every one of us really myself included and and the players um, so yeah they're, they're, that's the main thing really so with that in mind if you could press a magic button and start this season again what would you do differently good question there's a lot of things there's a lot of things um, I would do, and I probably wouldn't want to air them to you or to to the bigger world. There's there's um, there's things as a football club. There's things myself and my staff. There's things that the players. There's always a, a lot of things, and of course there is when you sit where we sit in the division. That's always going to be the case, and I'm sure the best which they which they do. You winning leagues is still the same. So you know, like anything, hindsight and going back is is always something which everyone would love to do. The facts are you can't. And what you can do is learn from them experiences and, and become stronger and become better and work out where you last went wrong. Um, you know, if there was one magic magic thing you could do was of course let's press a button, let's start over again, let's go back to three o'clock on whatever day or at the end of a game. But Unfortunately, we can't do that. What's the test of a person? What's the test of someone's skills and someone's ability? Is um, they can they can face up to them mistakes or whatever they see as as failures, learn from them, get better from them, and improve and move forward. And that's what we'll endeavour to do as a football club. I'll endeavour to do what I have done for the large part of my my career, and the players will as well. And that's been a driving message from me constantly, um, and that won't be any different at all. Um, one thing you have done is played Burnley at Craven Cottage already this season and lost to them in the FA Cup. Um, will the team be so different that that won't have any bearing on this match on Monday? No, not really. You know, that, that, you know, that, that game, we were, we were second best in certain things in terms of duels and what, what, what the game brought. We, we didn't compete well enough. Um, against him and struggled at certain moments um, under the pressure that, that that they put on us. So, um, look, if for one minute we're not of a mindset or certainly of a, of a real attitude about us to understand what we're going to need to bring to this football match on Monday, then the, the same outcome will happen. Um, so, yeah, we need to understand that. We need to understand exactly what this game needs to bring, first and foremost, we put our quality on it can we, can we have our moments and can we be deadly in them moments and, 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 and find the edge to, to win the game finally from me um you're being linked with the tottenham job what do you make of that nothing really um i have one focus and that's that's burnley and that's fulham football club at this moment in time i have four games we have four games and um i'm trying everything in my power like me and my staff and the players have for the last year now um, to keep us in this division and um, 
that's exactly where I'm at that day is really. Thank you, Scott. Good luck. Thanks, Emma. Thank you. Thanks, Emma. Can I have a show of hand, please, for the Sunday section only? And